there is something called a switch statement in C and what is a switch statement so uh, let us see the general structure of a switch statement and then uh, we'll try to solve some of the previous problems on the switch statements okay so let us suppose we are having this program main int a and then we are doing scanf percentage d comma m percent a and then we are doing switch a and we are having cases case 1 case 2 case 3 and then we are having a default case okay and in the case 1 I am printing printf hi and then there is a break statement then I am doing printf hello then again there is a break statement then I have printf yellow then again I am having a break statement and then I am having printf gate lectures ok so let us suppose we are having this program now in this program if you see we are using a switch statement right here in this program in the line number one I am declaring a as a variable ok and then in the line number two I am taking some value uh, for a from the user so let us suppose user entered some value initially uh, when we uh, uh, try to execute this program the user entered the value which is 9 ok then in the switch statement we are going to check what is the value which is stored in A and by seeing that value we are going to make a move and uh, we are going to compare whether this value is equal to this or with, is equal to this or with, is equal to this and if it is not equal to any of this then we are going to execute this default statement for example here I said user entered 9 then this 9 is not equal to 1 this 9 is not equal to 2 this 9 is not equal to 3 therefore it did not match any of our cases we are going to execute the default case right in the default case we are going to print gate lectures and then uh, there is a break statement so it is not necessary that you are having a you break statement in the default case ok so it is not necessary here but you can use it right so let us suppose instead of 9 when, uh, next time when we tried executing this program the user entered a number which is 1 ok when the user entered a number which is 1 then this one number matches with the case 1 in the case 1 we are having the printf statement hi right and after this printf statement we are having this break statement so this is going to print hi and then this break statement it is actually telling the uh, program counter not to move on to the next statement that means come out of this switch statement so if we do not use this break statement then the program will it will uh, continue executing the second statement ok so for example if I am having this program and I am not using a break statement here ok I have completely deleted this break statement now if the user entered some number let us suppose the user entered the number 1 in that case uh, the number 1 is matches with the case number 1 so we are going to execute this statement and after executing this statement the program counter uh, will go to the next statement and it will execute this statement until it finds this break statement that means if we do not use this break statement then the uh, program will go on executing the next available statement in the switch case ok so uh, switch case is a very simple uh, it is having a, having a very simple syntax I am uh, not discussing it in very much detail because I am assuming that you have already studied this switch case ok so let me just take one more example for the switch case before uh, solving the um, previous gate questions for switch ok so let us suppose we are having this program main it is int so instead of int let me just use a character so I am using char a and then I am scanning this value from the user scanf or just do one thing let just uh, give some value to a so let us suppose this a is equal to capital A 
right and then we are doing switch this a and according to this we are going to execute some code here so here we are having case which is capital a and then we are having uh, printf hello okay and then we are having a default case so this default case is going to print some print f yellow okay so let us suppose we are having this program now in this program as you can see after the case number a uh, after this case i am not using any break statement right so whenever the user try to execute this program in that case this a because this a is stored in this variable a therefore the switch in the switch statement this case number 1 is true so because this case number 1 is true so we are going to print hello and then we'll uh, go on printing uh, this until we find a break statement or we find a default case okay so this will be uh, a very simple example so let me just uh, take some uh, previous year gate questions on switch statement 